the Genealogist Writing Room, still at Roots Tech meeting fantastic people. I'm over here at the Afro-American Historical and Genealogical Society's booth. This is OGS, the national chapter. They partnered with the Utah chapter, and I met this handsome young man, Jason Atwater, who's from San Francisco, California, and he started telling me about his story. So I want I want you to hear about it. Tell me, Jason, what's your story? So I have been interested in researching my family history. Uh, my kind of big goal, end goal was to find at least one of my enslaved ancestors to actually name them uh, and find their name and name them so I could thank them for surviving just so that I could be here um, was my goal. And so I spent the last four years researching and digging through files and trying to find, um, I of course ran into that 1870 wall that everybody runs into uh -huh. where I had a name uh, on my mother's side, uh, Matt Duncan, who I thought was about the right age, that he was probably a slave in Virginia, but I couldn't find any records or any information, so hmm. I was kind of stuck for at least a year. And then uh, a new document became available from a plantation in, it was at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Wow. Um, and it was a document from a plantation owner, um, Fair Hill Plantation, and it was a ledger document that had a list of Negro slaves, mm. Berry Hill Plantation, mm. and on it was that ancestor of mine, who was my second great-grandfather on my mother's side, and his parents. Who named? I, he was yes, named? Yes, they said Matt, and the year he was born, and um, it had his parents, Darby and Lucy, um, and the year they were born, and I, I, you lost I, it. I cried and <laughs> shouted, that, oh my god, I think I just found my enslaved oh, ancestor. My family was so thrilled that I was able to find them. So we went to we went to the plantation. I took my mother and my sister uh, with me, and we went to Berry Hill in Virginia. And it still looks like it like it did back then. It's a registered uh, it's a registered historical uh, place. Awesome. Seeing that plantation changed my life. Just getting when we got out of the car, we drove up to this giant plantation. The um, the main house, the plantation house, looks like a courthouse mm. with these giant columns. It was built to be impressive and intimidating. Mm. Which and it, it was. was. It was. It, it, and it just chills ran through my body when we got out of that car. And me, my sister, and my mother all simultaneously burst into tears when we got out and, set, and stepped onto the ground because we could feel the spirit of our ancestors yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, being That's able that to wonderful see. emotional connection. It was right. It was overwhelmingly powerful. What advice would you give to other African American researchers who hit that wall? and they have that year or two where they've just given up and yes. they think there's nothing else I can find. What would you say to yeah, them? Uh, I would say don't give up. Keep searching. Go sideways if you have to, mm -hmm. um, to go forward. Sometimes you got to go sideways. And uh, research, you know, keep, keep it going. Research other branches of the family and keep looking for new information. Look, look in all the different sites, look at Ancestry, look at the Freedmen's Bureau. Keep going back because new stuff gets digitized and, and, and available all the time. And uh, I thought, uh, in my heart, I thought eventually I would find something, um, but it was discouraging because I thought, you yeah, know, this is probably it because it's, I hit that 1870 wall yeah. and nothing's going to happen. But I kept at it and something came available that changed, through it. You that changed my life. What I take most from it that um, was the most important is I feel so much more connected yeah. to my family's history and to the history of this country uh, and the fact that I was able to find my ancestor and like I said I, I, what I wanted to do was know them and, and stand on the ground that they stood mm. and say thank you yes. and I did it. And Excellent. I so, Congratulations. So thank you Jason Atwater from San thank Francisco, you. California. Thank you. We are both here at Roots Tech 2018 just loving it having a good time finding all these great stories. We want to hear your story. We want you to be inspired by Jason's story and others. So definitely keep on writing and we'll see you around in the genealogist writing room.